Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dr. Altaf Khan here uh, with a new lecture uh, on the clotting pathway. Now basically uh, first you have to understand uh, what is clotting, what is formation of clot, uh, what we understand by intrinsic extrinsic pathway. For that purpose suppose uh, there is bleeding. Now bleeding means what? Uh, you have to remember the concept of bleeding. We have blood vessel. Inside the blood vessels there are blood, continuously blood is flowing. Now whenever in the body there is injury and injury to smallest even smallest blood capillary occur, what will happen? Blood will start oozing out from the vessels. When blood start oozing out from the vessel this is called bleeding. Now human body have natural system to prevent stop that bleeding that is called as the hemostasis system. In hemostasis system important is that after some time this oozing blood out this become clots and how it clots there are two pathways for the formation of blood clot one is intrinsic one is extrinsic today we will do intrinsic pathway. Clot means now remember when we say blood is clot, it means blood which is normal fluid in nature that becomes clotted, that becomes sol semi solid and with formation of thread like structure and that thread like structure is called clot. What are these thread like structure which develop after the activation of these pathway in the blood that are called fibrin threads. Clear? Now clot means fibrin. Now formation of fibrin is important. For the formation of fibrin we have two pathway. One is this intrinsic pathway, other is extrinsic path. Today we will discuss intrinsic pathway. Now intrinsic pathway uh, activates when basically what happen when there is trauma to the blood vessels or any vessel. Suppose this is a blood vessel there is trauma. Normally the blood faces what inside a vessel wall is faced by blood. Our RBC is in suppose this is a blood vessels when RBC travel in that these RBCs are in contact with this lumen of the vessels that contain endothelial cells and over the endothelial cells there is a smooth membrane so these cells even platelet rbc's wbc plasma doesn't attach with that smooth surface of the endothelial cells but whenever there is injury suppose the injury occur here and the blood oozes out after this injury what happen this endothelial cells are either damaged or its membrane is damaged and blood faces the subendothelial matrix means below endothelial cells the connective tissue is faces by that blood that connective tissue is rough in nature and that connective tissue importantly contain collagen when collagen is faced by blood in the blood the important clotting cells are platelets. So whenever platelets see that collagen, collagen is rough, platelets have a natural tendency to attach with collagen. What happen? Platelets come and attach with that collagen. With this process means when blood see that collagen are subendothelial matrix, platelets adhere to that and also dramatic changes occur in the plasma near to that area plasma contain important clotting factor in these clotting factor dramatic changes occur and activation of them them occur by a pathway known as intrinsic pathway clear so intrinsic pathway activates first in intrinsic pathway the blood clotting factor number 12 see that roman letter 12 that is activated and activated by what by trauma to blood blood trauma this is important trigger for that so this become activated so we have labeled this 10 11 12 as a a means activated form of that so first what happened factor number 12 is activated clear 
then what will happen simply 12 activated form in the presence of high molecular weight caninogen and preclericrin these are also clotting factors so this 12 activated with with the help of high molecular weight caninogen and preclericrin this activates factor number what is this this is 11 so 11 is changed into activated into 11a so after the 12 we have activated 11 in this intrinsic pathway clear which one is that number 10 11 a for activated activated 11 then activated 11 enzymatically activates this this is which number 10 1 on that side means 9 so 9 is activated into 9 a which is activated form of 9 clear so after the 11 which one is activated 9 now after the activation of factor number 9 what factor number 9 do 9 combine with this factor this is what factor number 8 and this what phospholipids from where phospholipid came phospholipid comes from the surface of platelet so phospholipid factor number 8 along with factor number 9 so after 9 with the help of 8 factor number 10 is activated into factor 10a means activated factor 10a so number 10 means this activated factor 10 so ultimate result of this is we start from 12 ultimately reaches the factor number 10 in activated form so after 9 we took the help of factor number 8 then 10 is activated so whenever 10 will be activated there will be end of either intrinsic or extrinsic pathway we can say k uh, 12 then 11 then 9 then 8 with the help of 8 then 10 is activated clear that so this whole is intrinsic pathway very simple to understand तो इसको हम रिव्यू करेंगे कि आज हमने आपको बताया कि जब भी ब्लीडिंग होती है हमारी बॉडी के पास एक सिस्टम है कि उस ब्लीडिंग को स्टॉप किया जाए वो कैसे स्टॉप करती है वो ब्लड को क्लाट कर देती है बॉडी क्लाट का मतलब क्लाट की जब हम कंपोजिशन देखते हैं तो ब्लड में एक नई चीज़ बनती है जिसका नाम है फिब्रिन जब फिब्रिन नज़र आ जाता है ब्लड में हम कहते हैं कि अब ये क्लाट हो गया अब क्लाट होने के लिए दो पात्र हैं इंट्रेंसिक है एक्सट्रेंसिक है इंट्रेंसिक जो आज का हमारा टॉपिक है वो कैसे होता है कि वो एक्टिवेट होगा जब भी कहीं पे ब्लीडिंग हो रही होती है वहाँ पे ब्लड को ट्रामा होता है ब्लड ट्रामा से क्या होता है कोलेजन एक्सपोज होता है और ब्लड जब कोलेजन के साथ कांटेक्ट में आता है इस ट्रामा में तो हमारा फैक्टर नंबर 12 एक्टिव हो जाता है जिसको हम कहते हैं 12 ए फिर 12 ए हाई मालिकुलर वेल्ट के नोनिजिन और प्री क्लेलिक्रिन की मौजूदगी में कन्वर्ट करता है एलेवन को एक्टिवेटेड एलेवन फिर एक्टिवेटेड 11 क्या करता है 9 को कन्वर्ट करता है एक्टिवेटेड 9 में फिर 9 8 के साथ मिलके और कुछ फास्फोलिपिड प्लेटिलेट उनके साथ मिलके 10 को एक्टिवेटेड फॉर्म में 10 ए में कन्वर्ट करते हैं तो ये ऐसे समझ लें कि एक फैक्टर एक्टिवेट हो रहा है वो दूसरे को कर रहा है दूसरा तीसरे को कह रहा है तो इन्जामेटिक रिएक्शन चलते हैं कि अल्टीमेटली टेन एक्टिवेट हो जाए फिर इसके बाद क्या होगा वो हम नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में बताएंगे एक्सटेंसिक पाथवे का और फिर फाइनल कामन पाथवे का सो थैंक यू सो मच